If you can't understand what I'm about to say, you are absolutely fucked in life, I promise you. And that's this, nobody is coming to save you. And you can look at this in one or two ways. You can look at this in a way where you're upset about it and it's not fair. Well, newsflash, life ain't fucking fair. So let me say this with love. One of the best days of my life was the day that I realized that nobody was coming to save me. And it sounds scary, but you can get to a point where you can know this and kind of be excited about it. Let me give you a good example. One of my favorite shows is Last Dance. And the reason I love it so much is because I like Michael Jordan as a kid, but I love him as a man. He always wanted the ball. He wanted the last shot in game seven of his life. There's a scene in The Last Dance where he is walking through to play golf and a mobster shot is doing an interview. And he stops Michael and he says, Michael, game seven, finals, who gets the last shot? And he looked at him with almost a bit of disgust and he said, me, of course me. And that may sound arrogant, but the truth is, it's not arrogant. He humbly understands that that is his best shot and he wants control of his life. So a lot of guys don't necessarily want that last shot. And what that really means is they don't trust themselves yet. So if you're one of those guys, you really need to look in the mirror and ask yourself, why don't I want the last shot? Why do I not want control of my situation? Because when you can know that nobody has come to save you and that it doesn't matter whether you have help or not, that you trust yourself in such a way here that you know you want control of your situation, it's a freedom like nothing that I could describe to you. It means you're competent. It means you trust yourself. It means you have discipline. It means that you can truly count on yourself to show up for yourself every day. And that is one of the most powerful things a man can ever have in his life. You know, on the subject, I, I think about if there were a shipwreck and I was in the ocean waiting, waiting for a boat to come save me, would I wait there with those other people swimming? A lot of times people's lives is, is wasted waiting on a boat to come save them. But if you already know this and it's already there for you, then you can easily just start swimming to the fucking bank. And once you do that, you can get on a yacht and wave at those people as they go by or as you go by and they're still waiting in that water. Nobody is fucking coming. And I'll tell you another thing on that subject. Nobody's gonna love you the way that you love you. Love is absolutely conditional. If you think that a woman is gonna love you because you tried hard, or you think that your family is gonna love you because you tried hard, or that you are gonna love you because you tried hard, I can tell you right now, that is a fucking pipe dream. You have to find a way to get results. Men are measured by results, and your love for yourself even, will be measured by those same results that people measure you by. You cannot get mad at them. You have to ultimately understand this and only this. No one is comfortable. And you have to be able to get comfortable with that and go find pain, create the competencies that will allow you to want that situation to be real for you. You have to ask for the ball. Give me the fucking rock. Is the only answer for you in your life because nobody's gonna love you as much as you do. Nobody's going to care as much as you do, and nobody cares about anything else when it comes to a man other than the results that he puts out. The end. And I say this with love. I really do. I hope this message comes through, and I hope you hear me clearly, because it's not, it's not to be anything other than to let you know how it's really going to be. And sometimes love does have polarity. And so that's why I want you to know. I hope it, may, I hope it reaches you well.